let's get started here. We've just had our train unload all of our passengers and they've gone through the station and they're now all waiting for a bus. Now I wanted to do something very quickly with this road. Uh, so on this side of the road I have a bus station with a turnaround point built in. So it can just flip back around instead of going the whole way around there. We'll just save a hell of a lot of time. Right, let's give it a go. Please, please be enough money. I don't have enough money. Sod. Oh, bloody hell. Well, I've messed that one up, haven't I? Actually, no. I can probably fit one of those in if we just... It's going to be a tight squeeze, isn't it? But I can probably, if I try hard, slide that in there. There we are. It's more like it. Lovely. Here's our route. As you'll notice, we don't actually have to go the whole way around because before, you would have to go from here and then you would go up this road, along here, up here, all the way around here and then back down here to... Oh no, sorry, and then down here and then down here to 9th Street. But now you can just go from 9th Street up here, up here, spin around, bring it back down. I think that's going to save a lot of time and there's a lot of money. But I do need to also expand this station here. So let's have a quick look. So platforms... Uh, no, it's, it would be in the passenger buildings, wouldn't it? So we need to just put one of these guys a little bit further along. I'm going to put one of these on, on the end, and then one of these in here, and then one of those in there. Right, let's do that for now. So we're going to get rid of this bus stop here. Yes, get rid of that. So these guys should all go, if we're lucky, to the next stop. You're going under the underpass. Okay. All right, here we are, coming out here. And this guy's... Ah, oh, that's much better. Look at that. That's a bigger platform as well. That's much bigger. It can hold 30 without any issues. Right, that's a definite, definite bonus right there. I'm glad I did that. So, because of the demand in the uh, previous video, before this video, I actually went ahead and added another carriage to this train. Just in... A, and I know it says 10 out of uh, 90, which is terrible. But that's just because, for some reason, no one wants to go from Fancy Gap to cross it. I mean, cross it to Fancy Gap, there's quite a few people, but I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, in an effort to kind of put the people off uh, who were like going from Fancy Gap to West Hampton or vice versa, I just added an extra car which will one, slow the train down, but two, hold more people. As you can see, there's already 87 people, which is nearly, well, it should be full capacity. 88 people, that's two off. There you go, 90. That's full capacity of the train, and the train is on the other side of the map. So by the time it gets back over here, it'll be double that probably. Uh, and that's why I've added an extra car. I also built a train shed, like a little cover, um, just to hide our vehicles underneath here from the weather. Just because it would keep the maintenance nice and low on them. So here comes the train into West Hampton, nice and slowly. We're taking a little bit of a slow approach here. I don't think this train, to my knowledge, has brakes. I think it just relies on throttle input, which is kind of bad, but... It is 1856 after all. So this woman here has just got off the train and is now on the bus service. So here we have Zoe Ramirez, which is a, a cool name. So let's see where Zoe is going. She's going to this residential building over, over here. Very nice house, Zoe. At this island, there's a heavy focus on industry. If you have a look at it, there's a lot of raw resources. And those train lines, maybe not profitable to cross it in Summerland, but those train lines set up the industries to the next islands. Although we don't have the locomotives for industry just quite now. Although I'm pretty sure in a couple of years the industry is going to take off for railways. And we're going to... Because people are going to realise the potential of railways very soon. And we're going to make a lot of money because they're going to start investing in better trains. that go faster, more attractive effort, stuff like that. And it's all very useful. So we do have 700k here. I am just bearing in mind I do have to still pay my tax remember from last video. And I am also in 10 million debt. So I am making an okay profit most years. We're going to be building our track over to Summerland. So let's get started with that. We do have to be careful of our finances, of course. But let's go ahead and start construction. So let's start off with our passenger station. And remembering one of our rules is we cannot use the passenger terminus. Because the train cannot just do a 180 degrees. Uh, at least for now. We, steam trains can't do that. Uh, diesel trains, some of them, and uh, multiple units can. So they can come later in the series. But for now, we're going to have to be using these very bad uh, train stations. And it's not particularly useful to be having this, really. But it is what it is. We just got to get on with it. So let's start off. We've got to get this thing down somewhere in Summerland. And I want to try and get it in a cheap area, of course. Although it's quite expensive over here. Uh, so maybe, like, over here, I'm thinking. Like, if we spin that like 
to that angle or something along those lines and then just build a road alongside or oh, we could put it there actually like that and then just connect those two i suppose but let's just do that let's just straight up do that so we're going to get our train station just a little bit to the left there and we're going to put that down right about there that's great and we need to get our road now so we're going to hook our road let's get a big road just for expansion's sake so i'm going to go with it and I'm just going to hook onto here a, a medium one, I think. Like, like that. Yeah, because that allows us, that allows buses and stuff to pull over. That's much better. So if we do that, and then we're going to hook this on to preferably in a straight fashion. Like, like that. And then just loop around to, nope. Got to go from there. Hmm, it's, the problem with this is it's quite, uh, it's quite, bent, it bends the road a little bit. You see that? There we go. Right. I guess that'll do for now. That's lovely. And that gives us an opportunity for buses to uh, to pull in here and, and drop people off. Can we do that straight off the bat, actually? Let's have a check. I'm not sure if you can do that in the 1850s. Let's have a look here. Street constructors. No, it's not under that one, is it? Tools. Tram track. Player ownership. To regulate automatic changes. I think that's to stop AI improve. Okay, that's interesting. Um, but it's not what we're looking for, so I, I don't know what to do there. Maybe that's just a case of me being silly, but or maybe we don't have it unlocked. I'm not sure. Let's just forget it for now, though. We've got our train station built. We need to do our loop. So let's go to tracks. Then to what have we got? All these tracks under. It's 40, isn't it? We have our, our tracks under. Let's check. 20, 40. Yes, they're under 40. Okay, then let's get our track at 40 as well. So we're going to start off with a curve from around here now we've got to keep it at 40 remember because if we go uh, too tight of a curve it won't be 40 it'll slow it down automatically so we're going let's uh let's go from over let's go from over here first yeah and we're going to bring this straight forward like that and then we're going to bring that into with 20 mile an hour please into there bring it a little bit more forward actually so there like that lovely and then this guy from here into oh is that going to be tricky? Let's okay. Let's let's try this again. Let's bring this into into here, lovely. And then this into how far can we go? Take it to there, lovely. All right, that's kind of what I was going for there. That's much better. And now let's bring this track around. I do need a relatively big goods yard, so I'm going to just um, how many lengths? Of, I'm just going to do the uh, little cheaty way. So just buy a little bit of track to just slap that bad boy connect him up to connect it up to there now what I need to do is I need to go from here and I'm going to build a track that's going to go around the town like let's see here like that keeping it at 40 of course and then the track's going to go straight forward down to about here and then here it's going to start oh, it go a little bit further forward sure and then here it's going to start turning down this way because this is our loop. This is how we're going to go around the town like this. We could also just do a track around here, but it's probably quicker to just do that. Because there's no f like messing about with going back and forward. It's literally just pull in, go. And it makes a lot more sense for the passengers. Because they don't have to get confused with the train speeding through the station. And then turning around, coming back and stopping. Like, if you were at a train station and a train sped through, you're supposed to get on. Just to turn around and then stop again. I would definitely be confused. I'm sure you guys would too. So what I'm going to do, I'm, again, I'm trying to go with a minimalistic impact on the environment here. We're losing money quickly as well. Uh, so I'm actually going to go a little bit closer to the shore over here. Try and get the, the track as close to the beach as possible to try and save from cutting these trees down. But I am actually going to have to wait until I get some more money. You can see here we barely got any track done with the money we had. And that's kind of the case with Brutal Mode, which is a mod I have enabled, which is basically... It's, it's somewhat like three times the hard difficulty of this game. But there's also some extras like uh, you've got to have, uh, like you've got to really think about what you're doing because track and infrastructure costs a hell of a lot more. So uh, yeah, that's brutal mode for you. I'm going to save some more money and then we can keep building. So it looks like we've run into a little bit of money here, which is absolutely great. So let's carry on with the track. Let's try and get a bit more of that out of the way. So I'm going to start off actually on this side this time, just because it's a quite a tight curve. And I want to try and get this as close to the beach, but not actually on the beach as possible. So let's go like here and then let's go. It's somewhat on the beach there, but I don't particularly mind too much. Let's go over here. Now, there's going to be an issue. We're going to, go, we're going to have to go around it, aren't we? There's no way. So we'll go. Let's, uh, let's get a track straight like 
How? Let's just see what a road does. Can I fit a road here? Like, so the road is like that, right? Yeah, the road fits over the, the existing road there. So if you put a train uh, line on the side of it, so like, so about there, right? If I put it nice and parallel, we shouldn't have any problems later on. That's good. Okay, and then we hook this guy up to this guy. Nine to two. How's our terrain? Kind of choppy in places, but not too bad. And we're down to very little money again. Now, what's happening here? Look at this. That is a, a bit of a bump. What's happening there? Look at that. There's a right bump in the ground. Why isn't that strange? So go to about there. Let's just keep the game playing because once again, I've run out of money. Let's go. Okay, here's some more money to keep us going for a while. So we've got our tractor goes there. I've already placed that bit down from the last shot. But we need to hook these two up now. So let's get that. I think that's as best as we're going to get that curve. It's not decreasing our speed at all, which is good. Now, what's going on here? What is happening? Bloody hell. Why, why is the terrain so messed up over here? Wow, maybe building this wasn't a, uh, wasn't a good idea after all. Because the terrain is so messed up. Like... Like, what is this? It shouldn't be this elevated, surely. 105. 105. For that. That is stupid money. Bloody hell. All right, next up. Where are we going now? Another hill? Yep, of course it is. Wow, this game. I wonder why this area over... Okay, note to self. Summerland is very hilly it doesn't look like it it may look to the naked eye look exactly the same as over here which is really flat but no it's it's very hilly no idea why just is don't question it so we need a track to go from there to there which is going to cost a million are you kidding i am not paying that look at that terrain modification and that's what i mean about the brutal mode right there that's what it's like it is impossible to do what you want to do first time <laughs> you always have to second guess yourself but i guess i like that it brings a challenge to the game which you don't really get i mean the game is super super easy honestly i mean especially easy mode easy mode is incredibly easy on this game so i think the challenge is really something i do find interesting i definitely wouldn't be playing this game for you guys if this challenge didn't exist because i just find easy things really boring as, as do a lot of people um, we don't really have a lot of money here but i'm just gonna see what i can do with the money i've got try and get it up this hill a little bit somehow but i mean it's going to be a challenge look at that terrain there that is stupid that is crazy that is absolutely ludicrous All right so if we, go, if we go like that then that's less of a terrain adjustment it's, it's up a hill which is <sighs> let's get some more money all right so i've been saving up quite a while now and as you can see i've got up to about 700k i think let's get this track sorted out now so we go to 40 miles an hour and let's hook i think it's a straight to there that's 800k can i get it any cheaper than that let's see so can i so i want to go up to about okay so i'll put it back to about there that should save me a little bit of money on this because it'll make a slope and then if we go from there to there you see, that is the power of big brain right there. So we need to get this track here, bring it around to like... Got to be super careful here because I don't want to have to build a sprawling railway empire around what could be... Do you know, I'm not a big fan of that. In hindsight, I should have just done a little loop over here. In hindsight, but it is what it is. It'll cost me a bit more in Mason and Shaw, but I guess we'll just go with that for now. So that's okay. Let's plug it in. So let's get it a little bit before there if we can. I think that's good. Okay, bus stop. And put the bus stop over here. Lovely. And then we need a bus stop over. So which way is that? That's this side. So just this way. So we need one over here as well. So let's get one down. It's a tricky one this actually because I'm not very limited as to what I can do. Let's get one down about here I think. It's best I can do for now at least. And we need a new route. From there to there. Cool. I don't know why it's not showing the route. That's so strange. Maybe the new update did that. But anyway we're going to call this route. Uh, what's this town called again? Sum. 
uh, some shut all. And we need to go to all, some shut all becomes passenger, of course. And we set our, uh, we'll, get, we'll get just the one for now and we're in, we're in minus money, okay. Time to wait for some more money. <laughs> yeah, we'll be sorting some more of that out in the next episode so we actually can do stuff. All right, I just managed to grab one quickly. Let's chuck this onto uh, some shuttle quickly. So that one's coming out there. Lovely, lovely. It's not going to make any money pretty much for a long time until we set our main route to go over there. So we need our train. We need to go to train one. And then here at West Hampton Waypoint, we need to change some things around. So after West Hampton, just pause the game so our trains don't mess up. Pause the, pause the game. So we're going through West Hampton. So we're going Fancy Gap, West Hampton, and then over to Summerland. Now, is it going to go on the right side of the track? Let's see. Does it go on the right side? Ah, that's interesting. So we need a, we need a checkpoint. Okay, so we get a checkpoint down here, like that. I don't have 2K. Are you kidding me, game? There we go. That's 2K. Lovely. One of those down there. And I put it down the wrong way, haven't I? Cool. One of those, like that way, please. Could you go the other way? Thank you, thank you. How far can I go with that? Up to about there would be nice. And then add station after Summerland to there. And that's now going the right way. Lovely. And then we're going back down to one, which is West Hampton. So that's fine now. We can set the trains going. So this is the first ever usage of the Summerland line. Here it is. It's coming along. Let's just check out our track, our mess of track. Look at this terrain though. There's not much you can do with this, to be honest. I've done a good job considering what I went, was up against. That is a, a hard track to construct through that through that landscape. Wow. I've just put another couple of vehicles on here, by the way, because the numbers are picking up in anticipation for the train. I am really, really happy with how this is going. It doesn't look like much now, but what's happening here, if I just get a bus, where is the bus? Here it is. So watch this bus here. It's going around this corner. Now watch what happens. It's actually changing into a bus lane. And this is going to save us so far, so much money, so much traffic later on. Because the traffic is going to go straight through here. No stopping. Whereas the bus can turn into here. So that's going to save us a hell of a lot of money. Uh, and a hell of a lot of traffic jams. So I just thought I'd point that one out as well. So yeah, I'm really excited for Summerland, honestly. 30 passengers and we've only just opened the station is excellent. That is just what I am looking for. And that made us a good chunk of money. As you can see, 59k profit, which is very nice. And what that's doing as well, when we're in, in Summerland, it's giving time for these stations to build their passenger numbers. Now, it can, it's a good and a bad thing. A bad thing because uh, it's also increasing the amount of numbers uh, to a point where we can't hold all of them. So I am actually going to eventually have to add another car, yet another one, to this train slowing it down even more and I really do hope we get a new train soon because this is really pushing this train to its limits. This train is designed to link up two towns not four and definitely not with this many cars so I don't know hopefully we get something new uh, but for the time being I think it serves its purpose. Anyway that's the end of this episode guys I hope you've enjoyed I'm sure you have it's been a fun one for me at least I've enjoyed it <laughs> so uh, yeah if you do enjoy this sort of content, please feel free to press the subscribe button. I'm really excited to see what the future brings for this map, honestly. Uh, and I'll see you all in the next video where we're probably going to sort out our finances. Have a good one. See you next time.